22, subsection 22 of the medical practitioner, says any name, title, or addition implying a qualification to practice medicine who is not registered shall be liable to a conviction to a fine of 5 million for imprisonment for a term exceeding 5 years. The analysis. Peter Dutu stated that after three of her fingers were folded, Dr. Mogo informed her that they could not leave the hospital without clearing the bills. And Peter Dutu testified that Dr. Mogo operated on her folded fingers and amputated the left ring finger on the second joint, which she displayed in court. And she also testified that while in the theater, the doctor who did the operation was Dr. Mugo. <coughs> and he did this by bypassing the other doctor, which was all contrary to section 22 of the act. The accused person, of course, denied having been at that medical clinic. But again, the court was satisfied that PW2 had no reason to falsely implicate him there was positive identification. And in this case, unlike in the case of PW1, who had spent just a short time with the accused person, this treatment went over a long period of time. Therefore, PW2 had all the time and was able to interact with the accused person, not only in the treatment, even as they argued about the payments, and even when they eventually went into surgery where her finger was amputated. Accordingly, the court is satisfied that PW2 was telling the truth, and accordingly, the accused person is convicted in count number nine. We move to the 10th church, and this was supported by the evidence, again, of PW2, that is P. Beatrice Wanjiru, who narrated the events that led her to meet and interact with the accused person and her daughter's predicament, which led her to this prestige health clinic. And she testified that her doctor was a facility for three months, and they even gave out their land title deed as security for the pending medical bills at the hospital. That they also signed a memo undertaking other people, and he was carrying out all this under the prestige health clinic. In as much as he tried to deny the same, there were documents which were found there, which were having his name, even his school licenses were found there, the school permits and the school qualification documents were found there, and the evidence of PW1 and 2 was unshakable, and the court found they had no reason to place him there, and therefore he is convicted in count number 12 as well. And therefore the conclusion is the accused person is acquitted in count number 1, that is rape, he is also acquitted in count number 6, that was the employment, since that was not adequately proved, but he is however convicted in counts number 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, as appears in the charge sheet. He is convicted under section 215 of the Criminal Procedure Court. Most of the time. Your Honor, he has been convicted of similar offenses in criminal case number 2227 of 2018. 22? 2227 of 2018, whereby he was convicted of similar offenses by court number 9, that is Honorable Mother Nambushi, on the 28th of October 2020. Yeah. <coughs> For the 
first three sentences? Uh, yes, sorry. One hundred eighty. Yes, sorry. 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 Yes, sorry.